In this video, you will learn how to apply on behalf of your candidates. Once on the Reflect Jobs page, you can browse through all the open positions and decide the ones you'd like to work on. You can click on Details to learn more about each job. Once the job description opens up, you will be able to learn more about the employer by simply clicking Learn More next to the company's name. After you're done learning about the company, make sure to pay close attention to the job description, as well as the About Job section. In this section, it will include important information such as the salary, as well as the location required for this particular job. Once you are ready to submit your first candidate, close the job description and then click on Apply on behalf of the candidate. In here, you will have to fill in your candidate's information including the first name, their last name, as well as their email address. The email address will be used to check for duplicate submissions as well as notify the candidate about the submission. It will also update the candidate on any status updates of their application. After attaching the candidate's resume, you can also attach a cover letter. I encourage you to write a summary about your candidate in the text box provided. Employers love this extra bit of information. You can include details such as candidate's current salary, expected salary, visa status, relocation assistant if needed. This particular paragraph will help push the candidate along in the hiring process. If there is a pre-screened questionnaire, please make sure to answer all the questions to the best of your knowledge. To finally submit the application, click on Apply to this job. This is a sample of the notification the candidate will receive. Make sure you let them know in advance so they can approve the submission. The email will include your email address in case the candidate needs to contact you, as well as a full description of the position. Once the candidate clicks Approve, they will then be brought to the submission approval page. From here, the candidate can approve the submission by signing in one of two ways. They can sign in by utilizing their LinkedIn account, which is the more efficient way to sign in, or they can fill out the standard information below. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to give us a call at one 855 5 or you can shoot us an email at recruiteralliance at Thank you.